Are you someone that talks very fast no matter what the situation may be? You find yourself talking very fast no matter what. Or are you someone that sits around and complain all the time, no matter what? And instead of focusing on the solution, you only focus on the problem. Are you someone that is guilty of either one of these two things? If you are, then you have been struggling with your self-confidence building. But don't worry, because in this video, we're going to be discussing what actually destroys your self-confidence building. So, let's get into it. I. What's up, what's up, what's up, Trizzy Tribe? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Ty, AKA Ty the Natural, okay? The one and only, y'all already know. So, if you are new to my channel, welcome, 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 welcome. We are so happy you are here. Thank you for pulling up. And for all my OGs, y'all already know what it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you for pulling up. I love you and I appreciate you. So if you're new to my channel, on my channel, we talk about self-acceptance, self-love, self-care, self-confidence. And basically, we discuss topics that are ultimately going to help you become the best version of yourself. So, if you are into becoming the best version of yourself, then you are definitely in the right spot. So, go ahead and click that subscribe button, okay, and that bell icon so that you would not miss any more of your girl's content. Alright? So, now that we got all of that out of the way, your girl is going to be giving you five things that is ultimately destroying your self-confidence building. So, let's get into it, shall we? So, number one is talking fast. Yes, talking fast. So if you or somebody you know, or maybe you encounter someone that is talking really fast, that is an indication that it confirms that that person does not feel worthy with whatever information they have to say is worth you listening to. So that's why he or she may talk very fast because they don't feel that whatever they have to say is worthy or worth your time. So make sure if you're someone that talks fast that you start breaking that habit, that you start slowing down so that people can understand what you have to say. Because sometimes people won't listen to you because you're talking too fast and they don't even wanna even ask you to repeat yourself. So. Keep that in mind when you have something to say, slow it down. Because when you slow it down, you sound more confident as well. That was number one. Number two. Number two is not empowering yourself. When you don't empower yourself, you're not helping yourself build self-confidence. And particularly when I say empowering yourself, you need to be empowering yourself with knowledge, meaning things that you don't know. We need to be constantly growing our intellect and learning as an individual. Because when you become more knowledgeable, you become naturally more confident. Because now you have more wisdom, you have more knowledge, and you have more things that you can actually express and talk about because you have the knowledge. So, number two was not empowering yourself with knowledge. Number three is being a complainer and focusing on the problem. Being a complainer and focusing on nothing but the problem is going to destroy your self-confidence building. It's not going to help it at all. So make sure that you are not being a Debbie Downer and a complaining person. Nobody wants to be around it. Nobody wants to hear it. And honestly, nobody cares because they're probably celebrating in their head like, man, I'm glad that was you and not me. Whatever you complaining about. So just understand when you are complaining, you're telling the universe that you want more of those issues. So limit the complaints to zero and start turning that into a positive. And then far as focusing on the problem, we need to change our mindset and start focusing on the solution. This is the best thing that you can do for your self-confidence, trust me. Number four. Number four is never volunteering to be kind and to serve others. So basically you're being selfish, self-centered. Everything's about you. You don't care about being kind and, and helpful to others. 
that's going to continue to destroy your self-confidence building. But when you actually turn that around and you start serving others, and you start being kind to others, that is building your self-confidence and it's helping you actually feel better about yourself. Because I know whenever I help someone, no matter how little or big it is, I always feel so much better than I did before I helped the person. No matter what it is, just like me creating these videos for you, giving you value, empowering you guys, this makes me feel good. And when you guys confirm it in the comments, that makes me feel good. That you're learning, that you're growing, that you're appreciating the value that I give. People love when they serve others, when they help others. That's what we were put on the earth to do, is to help others and to serve others. So if you're not doing that, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing anyway. So you're not going to feel good. So if you're not volunteering and you're not being kind, start doing that today. Make that your mission to do once a day. That you'll be kind, that you'll be helpful to somebody, no matter what it is. And last but not least, number five is going to be decreasing competence. That destroys our self-confidence as well. And what does competence mean? Competence means the ability to do something successfully or efficiently. So when we're decreasing our competence, that means that we have the inability to do something successfully or efficiently, whatever that case may be. Maybe you're not good at being polite. Maybe you're not good at communicating. Maybe you're not good at making the best decisions for your life, you know? All of that falls under decreasing competence. So in order to increase your competence, you need to be practicing. You need to be learning. You need to be studying because that's the only way you're going to be able to successfully do something or efficiently do something is by practicing, is by doing something over and over. That's the only way. So those were my five things that actually destroy your self-confidence building. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are still here and smash that bell icon so that you won't miss any more of your girl's content. And if you would like a one-on-one -on -one time or one-on-one -on -one session with your girl, make sure you click the link in the description box and schedule yourself a pressure point clarity call with moi. I would love to talk to you. I would love to empower you. And I guarantee you, and I promise you, you're going to feel so much better when you get off that call compared to when you got on that call. And I can guarantee you that. So that's all I got y'all. This your girl Ty. And thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for pulling up on your girl. And I'm gonna see y'all back on the next video. I right? peace.